This is Glass Board Learning. I'm Mr. Chen. Let's do some math. Here are the problems for today. I want you to pause the video and try them out yourself first. Then press play so you can check your work and your answers with me. All right, let's do it. For number three, I want to find 20% of 60. I want to find a little portion, a little small piece of 60. A small piece of 60, small portion of 60. 20% of 60. Oh, you know what? Let me do it uh, an easy method. I know that 10% of 60, because it's easy to find 10% of anything, 10% of 60 is just six. So I'm gonna write 10% is the same thing as six. Yeah, I just move the decimal to the left once. But you know what? I don't want 10%, I want 20%. So I need another 10%, you know, because 10 plus 10 equals to 20%. That's the same thing as six. If I add up these two 10%, you know what? I get 20%. And I can add up these two numbers right here. Six plus six, that's 12. Hey, and that's your answer. 20% of 60 is just 12. For number 11, I wanna find 30% of 70. Again, I'm trying to find a portion of 70. What is that number? Hmm, oh, you know what? I wanna kinda of like do the same thing. I know that 10% of 70, again, finding 10% is really easy. 10% of 70 is just seven. You just move the decimal to the left. So 10% is seven, but no, I don't want 10%. I want 30%. I gotta like triple that, you know? So I'm gonna write 10%. That's gonna equal to seven. I need, I need another 10%. I'm gonna add that in. That's seven. Oh, if I add them all up, 10% plus 10% plus 10%, that's 30%. You can write 30%. And then seven, 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 seven times three is 21. And hey, that's my answer. 30% of 70 is 21. Number 29 says 25% of what number is 21? So we're gonna get 25%, a portion of this huge number, but only get 21. Hmm, one method uh, that I could do is using the number line. I can say that, oh, this is zero, and from here all the way over there, that's, that right there, that's 100%. And that's zero percent. And we can also say that this is zero, and uh, oh, 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 I know, 25% is 21. So I know that if I divide this up into four, and say that this is 25% here, this is 50% here, this is 75% here, I'm making it all into equal increments. I know that 25% is 21. My goal is to try to figure out, hmm, what's this number right here? I don't know what that is. I'm gonna write a variable, n. I don't know what it is. So uh, let me see, oh, oh, I know. Because zero became 25%, and then that became 50%, that became 75%, and that became 100%. I can do the same thing to the bottom too. You see how zero became 21? I can add another 21. So 21 plus 21, that's gonna be 42 or 50%. Ooh, I can add another 21 to that. Uh, that's gonna be so oh, 63. And then I can add another 21 to this, uh, 63 plus 21. Oh, that's gonna be 84. So my answer for 100%, that's 84. If you thought this tutorial was helpful, make sure you like the video and subscribe to my channel so you can get the latest updates. Until then, I'll see you guys next time.